Hello my dear and welcome to my yoga channel. Today I want to talk to you about quite an intense and broad topic almost everyone is constantly facing. Frustrations, anger, fears, anxieties and all those negative emotions and thoughts that our crazy little puppy mind pushes us through each day. So if you're going through a difficult and dark time in your life right now, feeling almost haunted by these seemingly uncontrollable feelings, if you are feeling stuck on an emotional roller coaster that got way out of your control, I want you to know that, first of all, you are not alone. We all struggle with this. It's perfectly normal. And second of all, in this video, I've got your back. I'll be sharing a simple three-step roadmap that will take a little courage, but will help you face your inner demons and conquer those nagging goblins between your two ears. I wholeheartedly understand the struggle of dealing with these overwhelming emotions, because let me tell you, I've went through them as well. But there is hope. And this ancient yogic approach that I'll be sharing with you is supported and backed up by several modern psychological methods as one of the most effective ways to release negativity and navigate to the roots of our darkest thoughts. So today it's in your hand to decide that it's time to make a change and break free from the chains of emotional turmoil. It's time to stop running and resisting and instead find inner peace by accepting and embracing the discomfort by holding space for these emotions and by lovingly embracing them instead of pushing them away you'll witness miracles unfold i promise so if you're ready to step off that crazy roller coaster i invite you to watch this video until the very end and yes i know facing these inner goblins and demons can be frightening as hell and the good news is you don't have to do that all by yourself come join our beautiful heartfelt loving community to support each other during our processes to owning our voice and breaking free from old patterns so that together we can tackle life's challenges and find more emotional freedom and ease so remember to subscribe, like, and share this video with others who might be in need of a loving word, a hand to hold on to during their dark nights of their souls. And help me spread the word, the love, and the support we all deserve so deeply. So let today's journey begin. Sometimes things just don't work out as you have planned them. Not everything is in your control, like this rainy weather when I planned to record a new yoga flow for you in this beautiful, beautiful location. It's just, it's amazing. I'm on Mallorca right now and slowly it's getting softer, the rain, but it just stopped me while practicing. And I have this little, 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 let's say house lighthouse it is actually here and i just thought that this actually is a good reminder to just go with the flow and stop controlling and micromanaging our life which is a big part that we learn from yoga and i just wanted to share that with you not everything is great all the time we and i mean this is quite a convenient break, right? In the middle of nowhere at the beach in Mallorca. Uh, there are worse places to, for things to not work out. But still, I, I don't have enough time. I, I'm running out of time. I think I have to rush through. Now it's getting heavier again. I don't know. But I just wanted to share that even if things look perfect on Instagram or YouTube or wherever, it does not mean that they always are. And we all have our struggles and I don't mean the weather, but within ourselves, within our beings. And we all share the same fears and vulnerabilities and insecurities and conflicts and we only have different ways of coping with them. And one way of coping with things like that, uh, I'm sorry, I have this uh, baby backpack here with a very beautiful pink rain, whatever this is called, I don't know. Uh, because I cannot put it on the ground because it's really wet here and I have like water up to my ankles probably. So still, 
yoga teaches us that it's not about the circumstance around us, but about what we do with it and how we train ourselves to shift perspective and still see the good in the bad and what we can learn and how we can use the time that we are confronted with to wait up on or what we do with the time where we have the feeling that we are stuck and we have to and we are repeating cycles over and over again and that can get really annoying and frustrating and that's okay and what yoga teaches us is that we should just accept the feelings and take them in and just let them be there whatever they are and breathe through it see where the feeling in our body is focus on that point and really get ourselves into that feeling and just allow it for once allow it allow your frustration allow your anger allow your depression allow your sadness don't push them away don't make you feel yourself differently than you are this is the second step the first step is to just realizing what is before we are hustling and rushing ourselves in our um, ought to be state and i think this is a very very valuable lesson that yoga teaches us because we are always especially in this time right now where positivity and being in a good mood and high vibe all the time is such a such an in thing to do and it actually it is a good thing because it trains our neurons it trains our brain to to think differently to see different things to shift perspective to get ourselves out of the hole because if you're sitting in a hole stop digging that's the first rule and still You cannot feel something different if you resist some voices and some parts within you. And they are valuable as well there because they teach you lessons. And if you don't listen to them, if you don't allow them, then they will come back over and over and over again in different ways, in different situations, with different people confronting you, whatever. It's just something that you, that because it, it is, a, uh, the saying is, well, the saying is what you resist persists. And even though that's quite a cliche um, way of putting it, it's really true. Because maybe you can shift your, or change your mood for five minutes and just smile into the camera or be nice to whatever, but, somewhere within you it will still linger and i just thought that i use this opportunity where i am stuck here and i cannot do what i or i cannot do what i plan to do to share this little insight from yoga with you so if you are in a situation that frustrates you that gets on your nerves that makes you sad or whatever it is just allow it to be there for a few minutes just sit with it don't drink it away don't smoke it away don't fuck it away am i allowed to say something like that on youtube i probably have to put a beep on it don't run from it just sit with it and i promise if you sit with it if you allow it if you follow where it is in your body, really locate where, where is this feeling sitting? What does it look like? If you had to paint it, how does it look? If you had to describe it, what does it feel like? Is it more like a stinging pain or is it more like a hand cramping around your heart? Or is it, I don't know, like a stick putting against your back or is it how does it look like? Just try to describe it. If you had to paint it, try to describe the noise it would make. Try to describe the feeling it has. Like really use adjectives and, and to make, to get to know this feeling. 
And then just be with it and fully embrace it. Fully be with it and just soak it with compassion. Be there for yourself. Breathe and tell it that you are here for it, that you are listening, that you will help, that you have your back, that you care. And I promise that it will disappear in seconds. If we stop resisting, everything gets well, easily. So ease into it. Don't be scared. Even if you're getting scared when something comes up, breathe and sit with it. So this is a small, small yoga lesson. And now that the rain finally stops, my battery on my phone is running low. So I will probably not be able <laughs> to record another flow. Maybe that's okay. As I said. Okay, so it really it's getting better. And I just wish you a wonderful day. I hope this little lesson helped you and finds you well. If you don't have any struggles right now, it's wonderful. Even then, you can just sit with your feelings and see where they are. We don't only have to be with us if we're feeling bad. Be with yourself if you're feeling on top. Really enjoy that feeling because sometimes we even miss those moments. And I wish for you that you fully live your life and that you can fully feel all the feelings because we are on earth school and uh, we're here to learn. We are here to experience. We are here to see the world. We are here to feel the feelings, feel the fears and still go and still do it. And I have like this right now, this video is scaring the hell out of me because I don't like filming myself and, and sharing wisdoms because who am I to share wisdoms with you? But I think that whatever we know, and maybe there are just, oh, see how beautiful that is. This is why I'm here. And you are why I'm here, because I really want to share experiences and vulnerabilities and insecurities and backpack babies <laughs> and whatever you can imagine. And I think if it helps just one person out there, it's worth sharing. So I wish you a wonderful day. Just enjoy the view with me. Take a deep breath. Stop worrying. Or, like I said before, just sit with your worry. Just listen. What lies beneath the superficial worry? What lies deep within you? Where is the real fear? And tell it that you will be there for it. Tell it that you have your back. Okay. So, have a beautiful day. I said that already. <laughs> and talk to you soon. Bye. Did you say bye in YouTube videos? Not sure. Probably not. I am so 90. I am so 1990s. Yeah. Hashtag. 90s girl. What can I say? I mean, this, yes, this makes up for all the rain and for destroying my plants. And maybe this is a good reminder for all of us that after rain comes sun as wall tattooey that might sound but it's true and i have to share this because i couldn't have planned this any better it's magic <laughs> it really is
most beautiful sunset I have seen. Controlled and micromanaging. And rather going with the flow is actually a good thing. I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for the rain. I would be long gone. I would have missed this. I cannot stop looking at it. Have a beautiful night. And I did record something, so let's see when this comes out. <laughs> I will keep you posted. See you on the mat, my dear. And until then, remember, it all starts with you. So be open, be brave, be you. Shine your light onto yourself and into this world and be the change you wish to see. Perfectly imperfect. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to support free yoga and my channel, please hit subscribe and leave your like and a comment down below. It would mean the world to me. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to practice with you soon. Lots of love and namaste.